Hello everyone, today I want to show you a better way to create Chia plots using a software including the full node which we can actually use from the command line. This is the case when you don't want to use the interface called GUI on the full node or you may have access to another computer which is simply a harvester or a plotter machine. That's the way I've been doing it, I leave the full node alone in one machine and then I plot on another one. It's easy, let me show you how to do it, let's get into it. love how Chia designed the new site, go ahead and check it out at Chia.net, uh, looks really neat, uh, built for developers, enterprises, governments, creators, farmers, alright that's me, uh, you can see here uh, through the World Bank, uh, Chia was used to track carbon credits, I think I mentioned that before through the International Finance Corporation, they have everything here, uh, how they approach the challenge and so on. All right, but today we're going to talk about how to plot Chia without using the actual full node or the GUI. Uh, I've, been, I've been plotting Chia uh, plots for like many months, since uh, April 2020 when Chia was released. And I've been using uh, Space Pool, I think I mentioned that before as well, uh, Space Master Wheel here. I have over uh, 600, this is a little uh, higher than the actual, I have over uh, 600 terabytes. Chia plots and the way I've been doing it is I've been doing it uh, on a plotter machine just a machine that dedicates to create plots and I want to show you how to do that so these are the enclosures I use to store all my plots on a secondary machine called a harvester harvester is not the full mode just a machine dedicated to farm Chia plots and you can see I've been using these five bay uh, enclosures and I still need to fill up these three so that's what I'm gonna be doing uh, I found them <clears throat> on Amazon here. I'm gonna link. I'm gonna leave a link on the description below. Uh, they are Orico 5 bay external hard drives, uh, 3.0 USB. Uh, they can fill up to 80 terabytes, so 5, 16 terabytes, <clears throat> and they only use 150 watts. So that's pretty sweet. Um, Right now they are running this deal, 28% uh, off, 165. So if you do the math, 165, 99 divided by five, <clears throat> you get 33.19 a bay, right? Uh, but if you go to this enclosure, which is a SIBA eight bay tool, they have they are at 10% off, 225.70. So if we do 225.70. Let's see, 225.70 divided by 8. It's even better, $28 per bay, just uh, the cost of enclosure. Let's head over to Chia.net. Then we're going to click Documentation, Chia Docs. Then we're going to go here in the menu, down the menu. Let me see, Plotting. We're going to go to Plotting Software. Plotting Software, in this case, is Mad Max. It is included in the latest version of, uh, of the full node, but we're going to use it from the command line, so we're going to go ahead and download it here. Let's go to GitHub. That's the, the creator of uh, Mad Max, Chia Plotter. And then we're going to go to, down here, install. Here you're going to choose your OS, I have Windows, so click here. All right, so there is the code. Go ahead and download this file. We're gonna start gathering all the data that we need to run this software. So to begin with, we're gonna go to the search here box and type notepad. Bring notepad, keep it in there. Then I'm gonna go to this readme file and I'm gonna see what we need. All right, so we need the pool key and the farmer key. In order to do that, we gotta execute this command called Chia Keys Show from the PowerShell. So let's go ahead and do that. In order to execute the PowerShell, you're gonna go to C, Users. You're gonna type your double click on your user. Then you're gonna find the app data, which is hidden here. If you don't see it, then you're gonna go to View. Before doing that, you're gonna go to View. Make sure the hidden items are clicked. And then it's gonna show up there. So app data, double click. All right, local. 
Then we're gonna find Chia here. Chia blockchain. Latest up for me is 1.5. Maybe different for you. Kills. Nope. Resources. So the app and then resources up unpacked and daemon. Alright, from the daemon here we're gonna click shift, right click, and see here it says open PowerShell. So you're gonna click open PowerShell and now we are in the right directory. Alright, let's see where it is. Alright, once here you're gonna type dot slash chia space keys show and hit enter. There are the keys. Go ahead and copy the farmer public key, the second one. The whole just highlight the whole key. Control C and then go back to your notepad and type farmer key colon space and just paste it in there and keep it in there. Now for the pool key, you're gonna go to your full node, go down to pooling. Once you are in the pool that you join through the NFT. I explained that on my previous video, add a, add a plot to NFT, that's how you join. You're gonna go here to your payout address, and then once you hover over, you're gonna see this option, clip, clip, copy to clipboard, just copy to clipboard, one click. Go back to notepad, type pool key, column, and paste that address. All right, let's continue reading the readme file. Uh, now we're gonna need a temporary folder or directory that needs about 220 gigabyte of uh, space. Uh, for conversion purposes, uh, if you go to Google, give to uh, gigabyte convention and conversion, uh, let's do 220. That's about 236.223 gigabytes, okay? That's in gigabytes. That's what we need on a temporary folder. Ideally, this should be on a separate drive. And for that, I have found this um, SS3 drive. SSD drive, is, they are so much faster than the hard drive. So ideally, you should purchase one of these if you want to make the process really fast. So uh, this is a 250, so that's more than enough. 250 PCIe uh, 3.0 MBE M2. So the connector is you're gonna put this on an M2. If you don't have an M2, they run about 50 bucks. Uh, you can purchase a 500 for 59 bucks. But if you don't have an M M2 uh, connector, what I did is I purchased one of these MBME M2 SSD 2 PCIe. So you can plug this on your PCIe uh, plot. You you pretty much put the, the, the drive there, you see? You put the heat sink, screws there, and that's it. You plug in on your computer. So that's uh, 15 bucks. So the idea should look like that. You plug in your computer and you're good to go. All right, for the second folder, temporary folder, we need about 110 gigabytes of space, ideally in RAM. Uh, so it's so much faster in RAM, but we need 110 um, mega gigabytes of RAM. Not not everyone has that. Uh, it will handle about 75% of all writes. For that, I have another SSD. So I have two SSD, one for the first temporary folder, and another SSD for the second temporary folder. That's how I I do it. Uh, combine the peak. This usage is less than 256 gigabytes. That's about 256. 274 gigabytes. All right. All right, let's go back to Nopan and continue building the program that is gonna kick off the plotting. For that, you're gonna start with dot slash chia underscore plot dot exe space minus n. All right, this is the first argument, minus n. And it stands for, if you see here, number count number of plots to create so the number of pl plots that you're gonna create it's gonna depend on how many you can fit in one hard drive I create this calculator so depending on what hard drive you acquire so if eight terabytes fit uh, approximately 74 uh, 10 92 plots 12 ter terabyte uh, hard drives 110 14 terabytes 128 
16 terabyte 148 and 18 terabyte 166. So now that's the number you need to plug into the into the program. Once you know the number of plots that you want to create in that hard drive, you're gonna type minus n space and the number. Let's say 74 in this case. Then we're gonna type minus f, and minus f means farmer key. So you're gonna copy the farmer key. And these are not the actual farmer keys, so I can show you to you right there. Uh, and then minus c, which is the pool contract key we have here. We copy it from the full node, control c, and we passed it space right there. All right, and now I don't need these two anymore. I'm gonna delete them. All right, what else I need? I need the following arguments. Minus T, which is the first temporary file. Um, you know, I have it on my SSD drive, so you're gonna go to whatever you install your SSD. I have my F, it's my MBE. Make sure it's, it's uh, empty. I'm gonna type F as the letter, colon, slash. Then I'm gonna type minus two, which is the secondary temporary folder or drive. I have another SSD for that. It's my G drive, it's empty, good. So I type G colon slash. Then I'm gonna type minus D, and this is the drive with the final plots are gonna be located. This is the actual hard drive. For that I have already a high drive E ready to receive plots. So I'm gonna type E colon slash. All right, and now, then we need the uh, number of threads. That's minus R. And to get the number of threads, you're gonna go to your system, type system information in the search window here. And I have two dual Xeons, a six core. I have 12 logical processors because I have two processors, I have 24 logical, so 24 um, in my case. But that will be using the full, the full thing and I know I don't wanna crash my system, so I'm gonna go with 20. You figure out how many threads you have. Okay, and then we need to include the number of packets. By default, it's 256. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. That's uh, minus u, minus u, 256, and the recommended is 128. So I'm gonna leave that there. And from the second number of uh, buckets for the second folder is minus v as in Victor, again, 128. So that's that will be pretty much the entire uh, program what you need to do is gonna go ahead and save it save us and you have to save it wherever you save the the uh, program the Mad Max so I'm gonna go to the Mad Max download here download it here I'm gonna save it there and I'm gonna give it a name of Chia Plotter for pool that and this is important ps1 because this is a powershell script so we're gonna save it as that ps1 save it and we're good to go there all right go back to the folder where you install uh, mad max you should see the the plotter i mean the program uh power script that we just created um you're gonna right click on the program and run you're gonna hit run with powershell that's how we're gonna execute it and once we do that we start plotting and, and the whole process starts all right I just kick it off and i started plotting crafting plot one of one because i just did one just as a test you should have the to add off the total number of, of um, plots that you say to plot uh, i'm gonna let this one plot finish and I see estimate uh, the plotting times for this machine and the first plot is crafted, so I can see here it went through phase one in 1700 uh, seconds. Then phase two, 728 seconds. Phase three, 1091 seconds. And phase four, 114 seconds. Final plot size, there it is. Total plot creation time, 3640. Let's do that math really quick. 3640 divided by 60. That's 60 minutes. So, oh, there it is. It says it right there, 60 minutes. So it took an hour to create one plot. As soon as the first plot is completed, then the process continues and the, and, and Mad Max starts crafting the second plot. And the whole process repeats itself, the four phases. So as you can see, we can estimate uh, one plot, but we can estimate exactly from one system to another system. So you're gonna have to 
do it by yourself and let it run. Uh, you're also gonna have to play with the configuration a little bit, maybe use uh, more buckets or more uh, threads. Um, but this is what it took for me to create one plot in this particular machine. You may find that in another machine it takes less time or, 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 or more time. Another test that you can do is while the plots are being created, you can hit Control Add Delete, Task Manager, and then you'll see in the second tab Performance. And you can see my CPUs, my 24 threads. Uh, I have six by four. Yeah, 24 are being used almost to the maximum. So that's how intensive the process is. Um, you, you can see here the average utilization. Uh, you see memory. Memory still have a, a few, more than a half probably. And then you can see each drive and what it's doing, right? Um, this is the MV. This is the final disk. Not much going on there. Let's see if I can find my MV. I'll see here. This F, there it is. See? That's all the activity in the MEV files being going right now. That's the SSD, PCIe SSD. I'm right there, and this is the other temporary file, PCIe, PCIe SSD. So all the activity is being done right now at the SSD level. Uh, once the phase four is complete, you're gonna see activity, much more activity here on the final disk, which is the final destination of the plot. One more important step is to let the harvester know that there is a new hard drive with plots. So for that, you're gonna go to C users, your user, that Chia mainnet config, and there you're gonna find the config file here. Just double click. Uh, you can edit it with Notepad, and there you're gonna find the plot directories. Make sure you have the the hard drive that you just uh, are, are using to plot the the new uh, plots. So just type the hard drive there, dash, the letter, colon, slash, and if you have a, a folder, just type the folder there, or I don't have a folder, so I, I plot it directly into the root. And that's how you let the, the harvester know. Once you save it, go ahead and save it, and save and close, I'm not gonna save it. Um, the harvester is gonna refresh and, and read from every 30 seconds in my configuration, it's gonna read the new configuration and the hard drive is gonna uh, show up. On. All right, and there you have it. Now you know how to craft plots for Chia and you start filling up those hard drives. Uh, there are other ways to speed up the process uh, by using parallel plotting. We'll leave that for the next video. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions or any problems that run into, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to address those. Um, Thank you so much for watching this one. See you in the next one.